Welcome back to 90s Punk Rock Covers. My name is Sam and in today's video I will share with you a few images I took over the weekend with the Leica QP and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of using a 28 millimeter focal length. Now one of the main reasons why I picked up this QP was to use it as a travel photography camera. The compact body, the wide angle fixed lens basically checked all of the boxes for the perfect travel camera for me. And although all, all of those things still hold true, uh, unfortunately, and due to obvious reasons, I have not been able to use it for what I originally intended it to. Now, 2020 was basically a wash for me in terms of going out and use this camera outdoors or even travel. So I spent a lot of time using it indoors for product photography and just everyday use. Now, I've gotten to know this camera pretty well, but I feel like I've yet unlock its true potential, especially the amazing 28 millimeter Sumilux lens. So now that things are slowly starting to look a little better for the most part, I have started going out and taking my camera with me again. So this weekend, my wife and I drove down to Vizcaya Museum near Coconut Grove down here in Miami, and I took the QP with me. Now the Vizcaya Museum was part of the Deering State, and it's now owned by the city of Miami, and it's an early 20th, 20th century village that sits right by the water with an amazing view and beautiful Italian Renaissance gardens. A lot of local photographers, uh, especially wedding photographers, use this location for engagement and wedding shoots. And definitely a very cool place to visit if you are ever down here in Miami. Now, one of the first things I noticed when shooting this camera was how rusty I was in this type of environment. Having spent basically a year indoors and photographing only still objects, it really took me a while to adapt and find good compositions and that's where the 28th millimeter focal length can be a disadvantage for me. Although I wouldn't call myself a street photographer by any means, I've always been fascinated by that style, um, specifically photo photographers that do it right, that get really close to the subject. And with a 28 millimeter lens, you either have to get in someone's face or your shots will never achieve that intimate effect. Now, a few years ago, I used to be a little bit bolder and I will get in closer, but in today's world, it's very difficult to do so anymore. But for textures, layers, and capturing basically everything in your frame, you can't beat this focal length. But I really could not shoot with anything wider than 28 millimeter. Even then, I feel like I still need to crop and sometimes a lot like I did in some, some of the images that I took. Like I mentioned in other videos, I am primarily a 35 millimeter guy, even 50 millimeters. So I definitely struggle a little bit using this focal length in this type of scenario. Now, overall, the camera felt wonderfully. I obviously knew this coming in as I have shot it before in similar conditions when I first got it. So it could have been just a mental thing, lack of practice or who knows. But I love this camera so much. Uh, it feels great in the hand and it's so comfortable to carry around with you. Now, will I still recommend this camera? Absolutely, it is one of the best cameras I have ever owned and used. But be mindful of the wider 28 millimeter focal length if you're not used to such a wide angle lens. I know it's basically a subjective thing and the more you use and experiment with this type of focal length, the better you will get. But it's worth mentioning uh, for some of you who might be interested in picking up this camera. Now, I wish Leica would make a Q version with a 35 millimeter Sumilux or even a Sumicron. I would definitely pick that up, no questions asked.
Now this is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the images. Feel free to leave a comment or tips on how you approach a wide angle lens and how you get the best out of it. I would love to hear some of your experiences. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Look me up on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.